Hello YouTube and welcome to Heathen Hacks. Back in my DF Robot Starter Kit for Arduino unboxing video, I've said that I would follow the instructions and make the projects that are on the PDF with a beginner's perspective to do a sort of step-by-step -step guide for each project. And what better way to start everything by doing a fresh install of the IDE. So, today we're going to install the Arduino IDE for the first time. Let's go! To install the IDE, we first have to download it, and to do that, we just have to enter arduino.cc onto the address bar and it would take us directly to Arduino's website. Let's click on the software tab. We can see here that there are a few options on what to download. 1.8.19 is the latest stable version of the IDE. We can download the IDE in different forms depending on our preference and our operating systems. For Windows, we can either download the installer in its .exe form or in its compressed zip folder form. We can also just directly download and install it using the Windows Store. They're basically just the same. Downloadable installers for Linux and Mac are also available. If we scroll down a little, we can see the hourly builds which are a preview of the upcoming release. Previous versions are also available for download as well so that if for some reason the recent IDE is not working smoothly on our machine, we can use those. And the future version of the Arduino IDE called Arduino IDE 2.0 RC. As of now, they're still collecting data for bug fixes and stability issues, so we don't have to download it just yet. Alternatively, we can also just use the Arduino web editor. It's basically just the IDE but in a web browser version. According to the Arduino website, the Arduino web editor allows its users to write code, save them to the cloud, and upload sketches to any Arduino board and Intel-based platforms from the web browser. We would need to register for an account to use it though. For the meantime, let's just download the most stable build. Okay, click on the top most download option. To support the Arduino program, we can also donate some money if we wish to do so. But for now, let's just click on download. After downloading, let's install the IDE by double clicking it. By default, it would only install the IDE. And to lessen our work on the installation, let's also install the USB driver for it and associate the .ino files as well. Take note though that we might need to install additional drivers when using Arduino compatible or Arduino clone boards. Alright, click on next and then install. Wait for it to finish. Would you like to install this device's software? Well, of course. Arduino drivers, install, double click the IDE icon, there we go. After installing the IDE, just to make sure that everything would sail smoothly later on, let's check and see if our board would work first by uploading our very first sketch. Doing so would also let us discover if ever we need to install a separate driver like CH340 to make the DF Arduino board discoverable by the IDE. So, let's get our DF Arduino board and the accompanying data cable then connect it to our computer. Now let's launch the IDE, click on File, Examples, and blink. This sketch would basically make the onboard LED of the DF Arduino blink on and off with 1000 milliseconds or 1 second of interval each. Alright, let's see if the board is being detected. There it is on COM2. Now let's click on verify to make sure that everything is correct and then click on upload. So this is the onboard LED of the DF Arduino board marked with the letter L and as we can see here, it's blinking on and off at around 1 second of interval each. Let's change the delay to make it blink faster, upload the code again, and there we go. Click right here if you feel ready to move on to the first project. See ya!